What's good YouTube? It's your boy Slay Island and I'm back with another video. A lot of people have been asking for this video. Today I'm giving you guys the best lockdown build in all of NBA 2K21. This is Nate Call's build. So many people have been asking for it. But before I show you guys the build, go down, leave a comment, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and I appreciate all of you guys. Also, if you guys have any video ideas you guys want me to make, please leave them in the comments. I'm open to all suggestions. I'm trying to put out a video every single day. I'm on my grind. So go down, leave a comment with what you guys want me to do, what you guys want to see me do. And once again, I appreciate all you guys. But now let's get into the build. So here we go. We're going to go position point guard. Obviously, none of the other stuff matters, but point guard is the position. Now, for the pie chart, we're going to go with the bottom pie chart, the one that's primary defender, secondary shooting. This is the best defensive pie chart in NBA 2K21. You will still be able to hit threes. You will be able to play great defense. It is just the best pie chart. You'll be able to dunk the basketball. If you're making a lockdown for Park, Pro-Am, whatever it is you play, this is the pie chart you want to use. The pie chart that's 50-50 shooting and defensive is also good, but you really don't need that much shooting and the defense is a little worse. So this is a lockdown, we wanna be a good defender. Also, the defensive playmaking pie chart is also good, but the shooting is kinda of iffy. So this is the sweet spot right here. You get more defense and you also get enough shooting to knock down shots consistently. Now we're going to our physical profile. Every build I do, we're going the top chart. We care about speed over here. Whatever you're playing, you need the speed, especially as a lockdown defender. You get beat up the court, you're trying to press, you need that recovery speed. Or if you get beat on a move, you want to be able to get back in front of the guard and get that shot contest. So we're going the top physical profile. Now let's look at the attributes for this build. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to max our close shot. We're going to max our driving layup, max our driving dunk, bring our standing dunk to 44. That's going to give us three finishing badges. Shooting. We need a lot of shooting badges for this build. We want to be able to hit consistently. We're going to max everything except for our post fade, which we're bringing to 74. As you see, that gives us 17. If you drop it one, you get 16. Playmaking, we're not touching it. Especially for the way Nate plays, he's not really a ball handler like that. He doesn't need any playmaking. He can still make all the passes. He can still run with the ball on fast breaks. That's, he doesn't need any more. One playmaking badge, he doesn't need more than that. Defense. We want to get the most defensive badges we can get. So what we're going to do is max everything except for interior defense. We're going to bring that to 47. And that brings us up to 24 defensive badges, which brings our total to 3 finishing, 17 shooting, 1 playmaking, and 24 defensive. In my opinion, that's a very strong badge layout. Another way you could make this build is instead of getting those three finishing badges, you get a couple playmaking badges. But for the way Nate plays, this is the way he wanted to make it, and I think this fits his game style a lot better. Now, body type. Honestly, I personally would go with built, but you can go with anything you want. I've seen a couple locks use burly, and for some reason, they just seem a little slow this year. So I would go with built, and I think that's what Nate went with as well. Moving on to our height. We want to go 6'5 for height. This is the perfect spot for this build. If we're any shorter than this, it's going to be hard to con get contests on guards or nearly impossible to get stops when you have to switch on big men. But when you start to go up in height, that's where your speed starts dropping. And when we're at that 6'5 and we go 178 pounds, that brings us to 99 speed once you get your 99 overall and your plus four from drills. And I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't want 99 speed? You're going to be the fastest player on the court. This build is just a monster. It's literally a two-way demon. Last, we're doing our wingspan, and you guys already know, as a lockdown defender, you gotta go max wingspan. Yes, I know, your three-pointer drops, you're still at a 74. Once you get that plus four, you'll be at a 78. And honestly, Nate is a 91 overall in his build, so he doesn't even have that plus four yet, and he greens very consistently. He can green from the top of the key, he can green from the corners nearly every time, but there's just so many pros to getting that longer wingspan, better defense, better passing lanes, takeover, lockdown obviously so there it is that's the nate call build the best lockdown defender in all of nba 2k21 it's called a perimeter lockdown honestly i don't know what 2k is talking about with these comparisons kirk heinrich i mean come on that does not make any sense at all 
This build has 40 ball control, but it's compared to John Wall. Like, come on, 2K. And even De'Aaron Fox, like, that makes no sense at all. But there it is. This is an OP build. Now, let me show you some clips just so you guys can see how OP this build really is. And if you guys already watched my Pro-Am games, you know how good Nate is with this build. Look at this. Look how high he just jumped to get that steal. Like, this build is really good. Those passing lanes are amazing. And look, that turnover caused a three on the other end. Next play. Like I said, this build can do it all. Nate passed the ball to Bear. He grabs the rebound. That's a big rebound. For being only 6'5", I grab the rebound, kick it out. Nate finds the corner. That's high IQ to find the opening from the wing, Green Bean. Now watch how fast he is here. He gets the bump on the point guard. The point guard throws it to the center and look at Nate hawk down the center and get the steal. That's that 99 speed in action right there. Now, if you guys don't know who Nate Call is, first off, he's the lock for my Pro-Am Team Island Gang. Not only is he the lock for our Pro-Am Team, he's a three-year vet in the NBA 2K League. He's a pro 2K player. Also, he was a champion 2K League player with the Knicks and the finals MVP. So. This dude knows how to play, he knows what locks are good, and in his opinion, this is the best build. Look how he stays in front of the point guard the whole possession, forces the bad shot. Now this play right here, this is just good IQ by Bear. This is what Bear is known for, breaking down the defense and finding his shooters open for three point shots. As you see, Bear's dribbling, gets his defender to jump, he's open, makes a center step, hits me, but then I hit Nate in the corner, and I'm telling you right now, Nate doesn't miss with this build. He's so consistent. Yes, Nate is a good shooter, I'll give him that. He's always been a good shooter, but you gotta have a good build, and look at that. That's very good defense by Nate. He gets under the defender and a little off dribble mid-range. He's even making those. Like that right there just shows. It was a white and it still went in. Now, let me also give you guys Nate's jump shot. Once again, I dot him and it's green through the contest. This is a good jump shot, so listen up closely. Nate is currently using base 98. The release doesn't matter. Base 98. 100 speed for a lock but as you can see that was another steal by nate nate literally just flies around the court with his build he's so fast look at that he's in every single pass lane and yes he made a that was nearly a full court pass and he only has that 40 pass accuracy 40 ball control and the build can even catch oops like what more do you want from a lockdown this game, this is a game I posted on the channel. This is our first tournament game. And Nate actually ended up putting up 50 points. He was just dominating. So look, we're like, all right, Nate, go ISO. And look what he does. Little jab step to the basket and one. Like, that's not even Nate's game. And he's getting and ones in isolation. Like, come on. But once again, I appreciate you guys watching this video so much. And trust me on this. Trust Nate. If you want to be a top comp lock in NBA 2K21, this is the build for you. I'm going to post Nate's Twitter down below. Make sure you guys give him a follow. Once again, I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, I'm out.